The regulation of gene expression by RNA polymerase II is a multi-step process requiring the combined action of diverse transcription factors to ensure accurate transcription of our genome in a timely manner. New research at the Shalottafard Laboratory and the Simpson Query Institute for Epigenetics and Northwestern University School of Medicine has advanced our understanding of the transcription elongation factor SPT5. Through acute depletion methodology, SPT5 is depleted from the DSIF complex, resulting in the loss of SPT4. This, in turn, recruits Col3E3 ligase to the RNA polymerase II subunit, RPB1. The Col3E3 ligase is involved in the ubiquitination of RPB1 and targets it for degradation by VCP and proteasome. CDK9 is also required for RPB1 degradation, but future studies will identify the distinct complex involving CDK9. Studies by Yuki Aoi in Shalotifard's group demonstrated that pharmacological inhibition of VCP results in stability of RNA polymerase II in the absence of SPT5. These studies demonstrated that RPB1 degradation induced by SPT5 loss occurs during early elongation of transcription and that the presence of SPT5 licenses RNA polymerase II for productive elongation but loss of SPT5 instead leads to the degradation of RPB1 through the action of Col3. These findings provide insight into the in vivo function of SPT5, Col3E3 ligase, and VCP in productive elongation, and how misregulation of their function could be associated with diverse human diseases through complications in proper regulation of gene expression.